and welcome to another episode of Hello Cat. So I am your host, Alobo, from the Mass Communication Department. Before we dive into the heart of our podcast, let me give a little bit of glimpse of what you can expect through this content or this episode. We're going to talk, we have a very special guest here, uh, Kazi and Moa from the Psychology Department, and I will let them introduce themselves and their semi stories. But before that, uh, they are working. One is working on their research, one is an, a beginner from this uh, field, in the psychology field. So we will be hearing their perspectives, how they are coping with psychology and um, how, it, how it interested them or what interested them to be in this field today and to be where they are. So yeah, I'll give the time to Kazi and Moa to introduce themselves. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Moa, and I'm from the Department of Psychology from the sixth semester. Okay, and I'm Kajaso from the Department of Psychology, second semester. Thank you, Kazi and Moa, for being here with us today. <laughs> it was really, really, really complicated to find people to be on our podcast, <laughs> to find guests, the right people. <laughs> right, <laughs> if I approach no. you and you did not come, you were not the right people. <laughs> That's all on me. Yeah, let's talk about your course, like psychology. That's a really interesting subject. Like, can you introduce to us, to me, and also the viewers and the listener about what psychology is and what people can expect from this course or this field? Oh well, it's it's a pretty vast thing, like to talk about psychology. You know, yeah. it's um, it's hard to explain it in a few sentences. But well, if someone is um, actually planning to take up psychology after they pass out their class twelve, um. I guess you can expect some, you know, it's pretty interesting, the subject, and you can expect some, you know, some very, how do I say this? Surprises. <laughs> a lot of surprises. surprises. Yeah, but yeah. Um, there's a lot of philosophy in it. Um, like, it's kind of like a branch of philosophy. Okay. That's how they taught us. So, okay. yeah, and then there's, yeah, it's pretty interesting. The scope is so vast, like, mm-hmm. after after you're done with the, study after you're done with your let's say your bachelor's or your master's and like you know uh, your doctorate and stuff there's a lot of things that you can do there's so many fields mm. of you know mm. um, yeah so many scopes it's not just about counseling like a lot of people yeah, yeah. they you know this they have this misconception like if you're studying psychology you're gonna end up becoming a therapist, therapist. <laughs> but that's not the case mm. you know there's a lot of things like there's one of the examples is like there's also this thing called animal psychology mm-hmm. right so people who are interested in veterinary sciences mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. that's not your like mm-hmm. people who are interested in animals mm-hmm. veterinary science is not your only option right <laughs> yeah. you can also take up yeah thing, psychology yeah. and yeah there's a lot of things you know as um, as someone from the first semester uh, second semester sorry first year <laughs> i'm still new to this you know but yeah, it's been really interesting so far. Yeah, thank you. And how about you? Yeah, I'm more experienced. <laughs> you, right? <laughs> oh yeah, well, we are currently working on our research paper, like for our end semester examination, mm-hmm. the sixth semester. So the study, like the topic for our study, like it's up, up to us, like salutization. And like for our group, we are conducting the study on the impact of internet addiction on attention span mm. among the among the state of Nagaland. So yeah, that's our research topic. Okay, so reels really <laughs> included. Yeah, reels are included. <laughs> are you addicted to reels? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> okay. So, so you guys are divided into groups like to talk about. Oh yeah, that's up to us. Like whether we want to do individually or with groups. So my friends and I we decided to do like group of five. It's five of us. Mm. Mm. It's really interesting. Mm-hmm. So is it like a thesis or like a dissertation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My God, it's so cool, yeah. Eh? Eh? <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. Getting back to our uh, psychology thing, like, um, can you like? I'm pretty sure, like, like you say, every one of us, like most of us, we tend to think of psychology, the word psychology, and like, we imagine therapist yeah, yeah, comes yeah. to our mind, mm-hmm. or like, yeah. say, a counselor. Mm-hmm. So can you like give us a broad like a a little bit of in-depth detail explanation about like what courses, scopes are available. Like branches of mm-hmm. psychology. Well, there's like organizational psychology. There's um, what is that? 
forensic psychology. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, forensic yeah. psychology. That's also pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's very the interesting. Yeah, crime and stuff. You mm. know? Oh, really? Yeah, if you're like law. Those people who are like, like, if someone gets murdered, mm-hmm. let's say, <laughs> and you have to like, you know, find out about the criminal. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, yeah, uh, like yeah. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I live for this. Please don't, please don't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I live for this. So, so yeah, 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 there are lots of like um, different branches. Like there's child, child, mm-hmm. child psychology, yeah. there's clinical. Then like what else? Am I missing anything? I think like there's lots. And like you said, animal, animal cabina. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. And then what else? There's tons of mm-hmm. you know, ah, different lots, schools here. Yeah. Like, I think psychology is everywhere. It's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the fun thing about this is, you know, you can uh, just studying psychology, you can like take care of yourself as well. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. But then there's another misconception, like, mm, not misconception, but people tend to do this, they self diagnose. Yeah, hey. yeah, self diagnosing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think like what I've observed um, is that like, this problem of self diagnosing. Mm-hmm. So, like, they will just like self diagnose themselves from some post on the internet, okay. maybe like some symptoms that they find similar yeah. to like what they're going through, and then they'll just like um, diagnose themselves, like, okay, I have this, I have that. Mm-hmm. So, I think like people should be more aware of that, like, uh, and seek a professional guidance if they feel like they're going through something. Mm-hmm. And I think even like our, um, psych- as like psychology students or people who are pursuing a higher in psychology, they tend to like diagnose either themselves or others now without having a license. So I yeah. think like that's a issue not these mm-hmm. days. In, yeah. I mean like even giving an advice to like someone, let's just say your friend approaches you and tells mm-hmm. you like, uh, let's say for example you're a psychology student and mm-hmm. a friend of yours approaches you and tells you like this is how they're feeling mm-hmm. uh, within a few days that they, they're going through something like this. Mm-hmm. And so you, you're going to like, you know, because you care for them, you're going to give them an advice, right? Like, maybe this is what's wrong. Mm. This is what's happening. But you're still a student and, you know, mm. that advice, though you not, you, though you don't mean it, it might, you know, like, lead yeah, them in yeah. the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, it's that's true. something, yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it might be unintentional, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. to watch out for. Mm-hmm. Yes, yep. yes, exactly. That's true, that's true. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Yeah, speaking of fun facts, I mm. got sources about <clears throat> someone here. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I heard about your uh, teaching experience which you had with kids mm-hmm. as in uh, that course I'll let you say it so like how did you find being in that like completely different environment not being you as a student but being someone else like can you tell us a little bit of your experience okay um, well yeah I've been a teacher for about a year um, I, I was teaching in a in a school uh, for the middle classes, middle school, yeah, mm-hmm. like about class three to seven, um, and I was teaching fine arts and handwriting, right? So it wasn't such as like those uh, serious subjects, I would mm-hmm. say, but still, it was like a really fun experience for me. It was, you know, something to, something that helped me, um, let's say, see some see things from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, uh, we've I've grown up. We all have grown up as students. Our whole lives and we sometimes overlook the way you know um, the the school the institution from the inside is working right the staff mm-hmm. and all that so yeah that experience made me you know realize some things and mm-hmm. kind of like gave me a sense of gratitude towards the you know mm-hmm. not just the teaching stuff but also the other non-teaching stuff as well mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> it's really nice though, yeah what's school though like uh, Christian Higher Secondary School, it's uh, here in Dimapur. Oh, okay. Yeah. The one is the long T, uh, Church Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Church Road, okay, yeah. Okay. Nice. So, Noah, like, us, <laughs> you're already, you know, I'm already aware. Eh, <laughs> I've seen you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. And your skin looks so good. <laughs> it doesn't have to do with psychology. <laughs> your skin yeah. looks so good. Like, Thank you. Do you have a routine? Do you like? Do you take care of your skin? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I do. Like, uh, I'm actually like working as a skin model in beauty bar in India. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. So, is it like? Does it occupy your uh, time? Like, does it clash sometimes your academic and being a model? Oh no, no. And like, I have to say that 
I have, I'm so grateful to the team of Beauty Barn because they um, are always understanding of my academics. They mm -hmm. never they have like it has never interfered with my studies. Mm -hmm. Also has to do with balancing like balancing your uh, the things that you love to do and then your academics because as student, mm -hmm. students of course our studies come first mm -hmm. and then like they have also been very understanding towards my academics. They have never pushed any like you no know, shoot days or anything like that disrupts my um, exam days or test days. Yeah. <laughs> But shout out to Beauty Bar. Yeah, shout out to Beauty Bar. <laughs> Choose Beauty Bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, speaking of studies and academic, mm. like, um, do you guys have any routines or like any hobby or any pastime that you do to be free to clear your minds from this academic pressure or like stress? Um, for me, I overwork myself <laughs> when I'm very anxious or stressed and I, I know it's funny coming from a psychology student <laughs> but yeah like I keep myself so busy that, that I don't have time to process my you know <laughs> emotions negative yeah yeah negative feelings negative thoughts and yeah, that's what I do like come uh, talking about uh, study routines I don't really have a study routine like, yeah it's like she's the top of the class <laughs> Yeah, like, oh yeah, she's the department representative <laughs> of the psychology department. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, like, how do you cope up? Okay, yeah. okay. Um, well, uh, there's a few things that I would do. Let's say uh, sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, um, um, I I take care of plants. You know, I garden sometimes, so that helps. You know, mm. just um, it's, it's like <laughs> it's just like watering a plant is like so. You know, just watering a plant mm. or like mm. cleaning the you know the cleaning the leaves or something like that. Just like some very mundane thing is mm. kind of relaxing. I'll try that next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh -huh. exactly. Yeah, touch okay. base sometimes. Do you have any hobbies like? Oh, me. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I, to be honest, I don't really uh, have a hobby, but there's a saying, my room looks messier during exam hours. Oh. <laughs> okay. The house looks yeah. messier during the exam. Yeah, so I would I would agree with you, like, bring up a copite with my other works mm -hmm. instead of, like, thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And when I think about I'm not a very expressive person, mm. so when I want to uh, say something or instead mm. of venting it out, mm. I write it out. Oh, so journaling your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, that's really helpful. So I need to journaling, and I realized that like while well, journaling, mm -hmm. it's like you can pour your heart out, mm -hmm. and it's just for you. Yeah. And if my parents read it, <laughs> they don't have privacy, I guess. Uh -huh. But yeah, so far, journaling really helped me mm -hmm. to my coping in this okay. to be a better person. A better person. Better person. <laughs> better person. <laughs> better person. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you for asking me. <laughs> well, I wanted to know this from your perspective. Um, how, what, what have you thought? Okay, before this um, thing that we're having, this conversation that we're having, what have you thought of psychology as a, you know, how did you conceive it to be? Oh, okay, okay. You know? Yes. Uh, I approached uh, like the psychology department for this podcast because uh -huh. I've noticed that a lot of people uh, misunderstand education and psychology. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. and during. 11 and 12, they uh -huh. give education and sociology. Oh, okay. And some institutions, they don't give psychology and sociology. So mm -hmm. they tend to misunderstand okay. between psychology and... Yes, can you give us like the difference about this uh, education and psychology? The subjects yeah, that yeah, they yeah. Mm. Like what, what yeah, psychology... How is, different? What is, okay. how is psychology different from education? Mm -hmm. Well, psychology has some things about education. Mm -hmm. hey, like educational psychology. Yeah, yeah educational yeah, psychology. Yeah, there. Education but science. they are like, I mean, it's in that in that way there are there are there are like similarities. Mm -hmm. But then you it's, can't say education yeah. and psychology is the same thing. Oh, okay. hey. yeah. So yeah. psychology is it like <clears throat> just theory or there are practicals involved? Yeah, we have practicals as well. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Also, what kind of practicals do you guys? We have experiments as well. Yeah, yeah. like, mm -hmm. you know, every semester, I guess, we have experiments. Yeah, experiments. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. the two semesters that I've been in, experiments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How but, about? Yeah, same. The experiments, yeah, 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 yeah. In every semester, right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's fun, though. Yeah, it's very fun. fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, 
psychological look dikhe kya yeah it's really so, interesting yeah, it really and i really wanted to because i heard about how like psychology is the study of mind mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so does it like have a combination of many fields many subjects in psychology I want to know so psychology is like a mixture yeah, of mixture so many of, subjects yeah. like we have statistics as well we have maths we have, do we do calculations and all we have mm-hmm. biology no biology yeah, bio psychology yeah. you know beauty burn model and beauty with brain ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, well it's okay. a, you know <laughs> yeah. it is a melting pot of all these mm-hmm, yeah. uh, studies combined mm-hmm. it's like oh, this is yeah, interesting yeah. yeah it's very interesting very and can you read minds <laughs> No, no, we can't. <laughs> can you can you no because like I find this really amusing for myself because no one asks me cuz I'm from the psychology department. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I do think you, like, that's a misconception of psychology <laughs> students yeah, I yeah. think yeah. Like whenever we tell anybody like, we're taking psychology uh-huh, uh-huh, like those uh, family yeah. gatherings and stuff. Yeah, family like, gatherings and stuff. Like yeah. There's, there's going to be one aunt. <laughs> Exactly. It's gonna be like, so you're thinking psychology, right? Like, what am I thinking right now? Oh, <laughs> and then they will be intimidated by us, okay? Oh, really? Yeah, like, people like, like, no, you can like read our minds. No, stay right. away, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So like, can you <laughs> can you tell like me and my uh, me and the viewers and uh-huh. listeners like, what can you like, what do you guys do if not if you guys don't read the minds? <laughs> Well, we study yeah. behavior. Yeah, right? we study, we study mind behavior. And, like, yeah. let's say, um, just this is just an example. Okay, don't take this too seriously. But, um, <laughs> you know, the way you're sitting, let's mm-hmm. just say, you know, the way you're sitting, your body posture, and all mm-hmm. of that stuff, we can like some try to determine how oh, you might be um, yeah. feeling. You know, mm-hmm. whether you're um, Anxious, comfortable, comfortable, yeah, oh. stuff like that. Just, just, just for your like understanding. Yeah, just general, observation. Yeah. Very yeah. uncomfortable. <laughs> It doesn't diagnose me now. <laughs> Don't diagnose me now. Where's your, where's your license? Where's your license? Just kidding. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really interesting, though. Mm-hmm. Like, does it have to do anything with Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Because, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes. He studies like crime. He sees it, and then like through this uh, placement of objects and stuff, he like deduction. Yeah, deduction. right. Deduction. I mean, uh, yeah. If you're studying criminal psychology or. Yeah. Like forensic psychology. Yeah, forensic psychology, criminology. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Criminology. Also, psychology is fun. Yeah, very. Right. Psychology is fun. Um, right. <laughs> That's why we are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I have the mass communication department, but I don't mean to break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to break. You can see it. <laughs> I don't mean to say about my department. You can see. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, yeah. Thank you guys very much for like being here with us today. I really had. Mm, it's our pleasure. I mm-hmm. really learned a lot. Psychology is cool, I guess. Yes, <laughs> yes. So yeah. Join now. At the circle, yeah. But yeah, thank you for uh, giving us this uh, because it really helped me a lot to understand mm-hmm. what psychology mm-hmm. is and then the scopes. Because mm-hmm. um, I always thought about psychology, counseling, clinical, academic. I've never realized that it has to do with this criminology and forensics. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure even our viewers and the listeners have uh, like got a glimpse of what mm-hmm. psychology is. We'll be looking forward to approach you more for <laughs> the upcoming episodes yeah, yeah. and content. Yeah, so yeah. thank you very much for being here with yeah. us today. Uh, that's all for today's episode. But yeah, keep looking forward to more of this um glimpse of education and contents from Tetsu College because that is how we will. That is what we will be delivering to Hello Tetsu. And thank you very much for being with us here today. <laughs>